people started growing chrysanthemums in China some 2,600 years ago. And in the very beginning, the plants were eaten. Well, we tend not to eat them here in the UK, though you might be able to order up chrysanthemum dumplings at Chinese restaurants. You can certainly drink chrysanthemum tea, and the Chinese swear by its health-giving properties. Now, these little plants are shun ki ku and chop sweet greens, a kind of chrysanthemum. Later, they sprout yellow and white daisy-like flowers, but they're hardly head-turning show blooms. In a moment, we will taste some chrysanthemum tea. But it was the look of chrysanthemums that wowed Europe when they arrived in the 17th century. In China, the blooms are seen as symbols of tranquility, virtue, and decency. As well as reminiscence. And in China, the chrysanthemum is also looked upon as a plant marking the coming of autumn. I'd say that's much the same here. Well, we're at the Royal Horticultural Society's gardens at Wisley in Surrey on a coolish day in midsummer, where chrysanthemums won't be in bloom for many weeks yet. Ah, but with a little horticultural magic, we have a beautiful arrangement courtesy of one of Britain's biggest growers. Martin Flint manages Chrysanthemums Direct. The business is able to produce quality blooms for a large part of the year. How do they do it? We manage to, uh, to trick them into thinking it is the autumn and it's all down to light levels and the length of darkness that they get. If they get more than 12 hours darkness, they think it's autumn and they flower. Professor Dai Salan from Beijing Forestry University is an expert on Chinese chrysanthemums and she will be sharing some fascinating insights with us. How did chrysanthemum become part of our culture and how did it transform our gardens? What many people don't realize is that this beautiful harbinger of the autumn season, once a royal flower in both China and Japan and steeped in the history and aesthetic sensibilities of the East, originated in the Middle Kingdom. We will also find out how the flower is central to Ikebana, Japanese flower arranging. Almost alongside the Forbidden City in central Beijing, Beihai Park is the oldest surviving royal garden in China. In autumn, the park's beauty is legendary. Largely due to its chrysanthemum, we will be finding out about the park's special breeding techniques for single-stem chrysanthemum. We'll also take you to Kaifeng in Henan province capital of the Northern Song Dynasty for 168 years, and once the most prosperous city in the world. Famously home to China's only native Jewish community, Kaifang has the chrysanthemum as its city flower, and every autumn the city turns the clock back to celebrate its glorious past, and chrysanthemums take center stage. Over the years, Jiang Yufa has been recording amazing displays. 36 years of capturing and preserving precious moments. Well, he's obviously enjoying his chrysanthemum tea. Let's join in. To your very good health. To your very good health. Enjoy signature flowers of China. You don't have to go on a long journey to do a bit of exploring. An ordinary, everyday flower also has an interesting story. Take the chrysanthemum, for example, a flower with a history of 3,000 years. Where did it all begin? Dai Sulan is a professor at Beijing Forestry University. She is an expert on the origin and development of the Chinese chrysanthemum. Chinese but how exactly did the chrysanthemum become a part of our culture? And how did it transform our gardens? 
那么关于这个，现在我们看到的这些栽培菊花，呃，世界各国的园艺学家都承认是中国起源的。那么从中国，呃，首先传到朝鲜半岛，然后又传到日本，呃，此后呢又从中国传到了欧洲，呃，到比较晚的时候进入到美洲。Ever since, the chrysanthemum has been a firm favorite in private gardens, at flower shows, even with royalty. What most people don't know is that this harbinger of autumn, whose beauty and glamour is familiar to people worldwide, originated in China and is steeped in the history and aesthetic taste of the East. Beihai Park is the earliest traditional royal garden still in existence in China. It's right next to the Forbidden City. In autumn, its beauty is legendary, largely thanks to its chrysanthemums. Thank you. 像南方呢，他们大部分呢都使用那矮装束，控制着菊花的高度，这是南北的一个比较明显的一个区别。Leo Jan is the fourth generation inheritor of the traditional chrysanthemum breeding technique of Beihai Park. For decades, he has always been around chrysanthemums. 嗯，北海是以标本菊为主的，所谓的标本菊就是。一朵花就开一朵，这么着花呢开的也大，观赏价值也高。Each single stem chrysanthemum is planted in a pot. The diameter of the flower head is usually 20 to 30 centimeters. To be considered a top chrysanthemum, a specimen must look balanced and vigorous, have complete leaves, a large flower head, and fragrant petals and be 33 to 40 centimeters high. The Beijing chrysanthemum tradition dates back to the Liao dynasty a thousand years ago. Beijing's chrysanthemum culture developed during the subsequent Jin and Yuan dynasties. By the Ming and Qing, Almost every family grew chrysanthemums. The new one came out. Now it's alive. It's just the new one. This old one is old. There are many vegetables. Some of them have their own experience. It's been a long time to gather. Every year, three or four months, it starts to gather. After it gathers, it gives it a small pot. At the end of the year, it goes to the ground. Thank you. 那个那个是发黄，发浅。啊，这个小枝。这枝。就这小枝。Mr. Jean is 81 years old. He is the eldest apprentice of Leo Jan. They often spend time together, exchanging growing tips and ideas. 
It's something they enjoy very much. The chrysanthemum is a short day flower. During the long days of spring and summer, the stems and leaves grow. Come autumn and the shortening of the days, it begins to bloom.